I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah, you're totally fine. Okay, great. Again, don't walk back too far. I've got you pretty tight. Okay. Keep squinting as big as possible. Okay, great. And you are live. All right. Uh, welcome to the online student support workshop. Uh, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> And we're going to be going through a new online student resource guide that we have available. And I'm going to show you where to find it, uh, what different resources are available, and uh, just how you can utilize it for your semester in the last few, uh, basically the last half of the semester coming up here. My name is Kara Parks, and I am the online retention coordinator. Please share your name because you're here as well. Yeah, my name is Adam Lennon. Okay. Okay. System information. Great. Online. Awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Um, so we're going to get started here. And I'm going to, for all of you that are online, uh, thank you for attending. You as well. Uh, and what we're going to do is essentially we saw a need where online students didn't know all of the resources that were available for our students. And it's a combination of some students are farther away, some students are here on campus, but they may not be able to find things on our website. Um, just all together, whatever the resources are, they're having trouble either finding them or utilizing them. So we saw a need to combine everything together. So we know it can be difficult to find out where help is available on campus, especially if you aren't here very often. I know students are like, which academic support center do I go to if I'm on campus even? Or where do I go for tutoring help and writing center help, um, all of that. So I speak with a lot of students who don't know uh, what supports are available. Uh, we wanna make sure you know about them, that they're easy to find. Uh, and we also are coordinating um, some new efforts that are, will be coming up through the Title III grant. Uh, we want to make sure you know exactly what we're doing right now to be able to help. And we also want those links to be familiarized to you uh, and just to let you know what's available. So without further ado, we're going to cover the new online student resource guide that's available in the library info guides. So I'm going to take you step by step as to how to find it. Um, but first, I just want to tell you what's involved. So we have different resources through the library, writing center, and the academic support center highlighted. We also have some Falcon Online support options for you and some helpful academic contacts uh, and links that you can utilize. So first, how you'll go to find it, uh, if you haven't already received it through our online uh, student email that you received yesterday, um, you'll also be able to find it on the webpage if you don't have that email available. You can find it through the Daytona State homepage. You're going to click on the library link on the right side, and I'm also going to demonstrate it for you. And we uh, have it housed within the info guides. So on the right side of the library page, you're going to click on Info Guide and scroll down to the Student Online Readiness Info Guide. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I've got the web page pulled up. So this is the home page. What you're going to do is scroll down on the right side under On Campus. You're going to go to Library. And from there, you're going to click on Info Guides. Uh, and they're all in alphabetical order. So you're going to scroll down to Student Online Readiness. And from there on this left side is the Online Student Resource Guide. Once you've clicked here, you can download this resource so you don't have to continue to take this pathway. And, but you can also utilize it from this web page. There are links that are clickable through this PDF, embedded PDF and uh, we'll be going through some more of what's included coming up in the PowerPoint. So, okay, let me 
Come back. Here we are. So the online student resource guide can be found on that side menu. It's an embedded PDF that you can click through. You can download it, as I said. And so what I'm going to do is start going through the different things that are available. So for, through the library, uh, the library has a lot of different info guides and they house a lot of institutional knowledge. Each school has different ways that they have you do different processes like going to the uh, online like to email different people or to find what you need and so the library info guides are there to help you figure out how to navigate things at Daytona State College. Uh, they go through a lot of different information for different departments and they're just a helpful resource for you as you navigate Daytona State College itself. Uh, the library also has a chat feature on their web page. They have an email option so you can email a librarian your question. You can also text a librarian, which is, I think is one of the coolest things. You can just save the number that's on uh, the resource guide that you'll see when we go back to the web page. And then you can text them when you have a quick question. Uh, you can search 100 research databases to assist you with your assignments. And you can also utilize their Daytona State Answers FAQ page, which has all different kinds of information on there. I would encourage you to even just search your subject that you're taking the class in, and they have a lot of different study guides and resources available through that. Uh, library social media, they have a YouTube page, a Pinterest page, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, there are great updates about different events that they'll be holding and also other resources and videos that they're creating. Um, also, I guess, let me go back here. Um, I also included a little tip here that anywhere on the online student resource guide where it says available during business hours, you can actually click on available during business hours and it will bring up their business hours right away so you don't have to go and find it. So for the writing center offerings that are highlighted on the resource guide, there is virtual tutoring included in that. So you can go to the writing center webpage and set up an appointment and you can share a screen with a writing center staffer and they can go over your paper with you right there. And it's great. Um, so feel free to set up an appointment through that. Um, the info guides that are created by the writing center, they have a writing strategies and grammar info guide uh, that you can get quick answers on how to uh, write your papers in a more strategic way uh, to help with your grammar. You can also access an info guide on the citation and documentation. So how to structure your paper and how to put it into like an APA format, an MLA format, things like that. Uh, they also have their own Daytona State Answers page uh, for the Writing Center. There are a lot of different study guides and resources you can download straight from there. Uh, Writing Center chat. So you can actually go on any page of the Writing Center's website uh, and you can submit a question to them and they will answer it if it's during business hours or after it will be emailed to them and they will respond back in an email. Uh, the Writing Center also has a lot of social media. They have YouTube videos on a lot of different topics that might be helpful to you. Uh, they have a Pinterest that they're constantly uh, tagging different articles that might be helpful for you. They have a Snapchat that keeps you like up to date during current events and things that are happening on campus. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And actually, I think one of the coolest things that the Writing Center does is they'll even answer questions that you submit to them via Facebook Messenger. So if you're just on Facebook during the day, you can send them a question and they'll respond back to you. So We also have uh, several academic support offerings. So the Academic Support Center has a tutor search. So when you're off campus, and you do have the availability to come to campus, you can look and see when a tutor might be available for college algebra or for chemistry or anatomy and physiology. Um, so you can search and see what's available on campus. There's also an info guide on managing your success, and that's not necessarily just an academic support center resource, uh, but it is something that is used in our SLS 1122 course and highlights all the different available things on campus that you can utilize. It also has some really helpful study tips. Um, so if you're having trouble kind of studying for your tests or you want to study more efficiently, um, that's a great place to start as well. 
The Daytona State Answers page for the Academic Support Center also exists, and it has study guides by chapter on a lot of different subjects. Um, and so I would highly recommend you look there and download some study guides for your class that you're involved in right now. Uh, the Academic Support Center homepage also includes a chat, um, but I would say the most useful thing is if you don't already have the option, um, your instructor has the option to add an Ask a Tutor widget in your Falcon Online class. And through that, you can actually ask questions and get um, some help from the Academic Support Center right away. I just received an email today that included somebody was asking questions about how to do a fractions problem. And they detailed it all step by step and sent it back to the student through the Ask a Tutor widget. So if you don't already have it included in your class, make sure you ask your instructor and they can get it added for you so that you can receive some additional help in real time while you're in your class. Um, we also have some helpful links through the Academic Support Center for English and Math. And so I would highly recommend if you're needing help in either of those subjects, uh, there's a lot of useful tools included there as well. And that link is included on the resource guide. We also have Falcon Online Support. So this is basically the platform that you do all of your online classes through. So if you're having technical issues or need help troubleshooting because there's something happening in your Falcon Online class, um, you can do 24-7 online support through our phone or chat features. And there are links to that as well. Uh, for phone, it even tells you what extension to use in the um, student support guide. And there is also a Falcon Online Info Guide. So if you have questions on how to submit assignments, talk with your professor, because there is an email function that will tell your professor what class you're in, so you get a little faster reply. Um, you can find more information on that in the Falcon Online Info Guide. Um, and it's got a lot of really great things as you're trying to figure out what you expect in your online class and how things will work for your semester. also includes some helpful academic contacts. So I have the phone numbers and emails and websites listed for the Academic Support Center, the Writing Center, Campus Libraries, so that you have a quick guide uh, as to how to get in contact with them as early as possible. Uh, Falcon Aid Student Help Desk, so for any technical issues you're experiencing um, on campus and you're needing help, if you need help resetting your password, things like that, that's where you would go to get help with that and your student advocate. So if you're having issues in your class and you have questions about what to do and you haven't felt like you could resolve it, that's where you could go to get some additional support and help as you're navigating your classes. Uh, so that contact information is there as well. And some helpful links. So we have several different resources available, including the help pages. Uh, so our help pages actually have how-to guides, which are step-by-step -step screenshotted instructions on how to check on your financial aid, managing classes, accessing your student account, and even just how to uh, check your transcripts and send your transcripts elsewhere as well. Um, there's a free Microsoft 365 download with instructions on how to do this within your online student email. Um, so through that, you can go step by step and download it, your Microsoft 365 on five different devices for free, and it's included in your student tuition. Um, there's a login for your My Daytona State landing page, and it essentially has links for Falcon Online, Falcon Mail, Falcon Self Service, and all of those things. So that's where you go and can access all of your different um, student portals. And it also has important dates for your upcoming semester. Uh, and this, in your academic calendar, is where you'll find what the cutoff dates are for when you can drop a class, when you can withdraw from a class, when you uh, are at the time where your financial aid is being dispersed. So these dates are important for you to keep track of, and you'll find the latest academic calendar, along with several other semesters, both upcoming and before you, um, there on that link that's included there. So, 
from there. Success is not final, fail failure is not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. And so just utilizing these resources and continuing on in your education is the biggest deal. Um, what I'm going to do from now is just go into the actual uh, resource guide and start showing you the different things that it includes. So. so I've gone ahead and in this resource guide I've clicked the download button here and it will bring you to the new page for it that gives you a full on view. Um, so, what I mentioned, the library has info guides and the link is here. The info guides are also where you find this worksheet. And they cover a host of different college topics. They're always available. Our library chat, it's available during business hours. And as I said, you'll be able to click on available during business hours in order to bring up their actual hours. And I'll just go ahead and link it because from here it will show you the library hours, the cafeteria, the coffee shop, uh, as well as the academic support centers and your writing centers on the different campuses. Um, here. Uh, you're also able to cl click to email the librarian and this will open up your email right from here. Um, there's a list of all of the databases that are available here, uh, but you can also go straight to an advanced search where you uh, search all of the different databases that are available. Um, the library texting number is here, and you can just save this in your phone, and when you have a question, you're working on assignments, and you need something quick, you can text them your brief question, and you should receive a pretty quick reply anytime during business hours. And if they are closed, you'll receive a text reply in the next business day. They said they usually check it as soon as they go back into the library in the morning. So that's super helpful. Um, the Daytona State Answers FAQ page. I'm going to actually open this so that you can see it. Uh, so from here, there's a lot of frequently asked questions that are available here. Um, so what are the hours and phone numbers? Um, I don't go to school here, but I want to use the library. What resources are available? How do I pay for library fines? A lot of different um, information. And what you'll see on the side here are some different topics. So you can select Writing Center um, and see some different questions that you might have. Academic Support Center, um, what tutors are available and when? How do I contact the ASC closest to me? What's my login for signing in? Uh, where's the math lab? A lot of different questions that you might have. Um, from here. So there's also different links to their uh, social media. So I'll take you into here. So they have some different videos on semesters, library introductions with staff. Uh, and uh, for their Facebook, that's where um, you can see a lot of different events that are going on real time. The Writing Center, their virtual tutoring and writing center appointments. So this is the page where you'll go to set up virtual tutoring. And there are instructions on how to enter into the chat room so that you can review your paper uh, with the Writing Center staff member. And there is also a link to watch a short video for virtual appointments. And you'll see their chat has already popped up at you. And they said it's on every single page on their website. So anywhere you click, um, with all of the different headers, they'll have a chat page on every single one. So if you have questions about anything, you can always utilize the chat there with chat now. Um, from here, there are also the info guides that are linked. Um, so you can go in and see there's the writing strategies and grammar. Writing prompts, common topics. What to do when you have writer's block? <laughs> And there are some funny memes and things in there, too. Um, there is how to transition, thesis statements, um, outlining, paragraph structures, uh, grammar and mechanics and parts of speech, how to improve your grammar. So a lot of different helpful things here. Uh, you also have a citation and documentation info guide. And from here, what's the difference between these different words? What's, how, what do I do in APA style to set up in Microsoft Word? How to do an in-text citation and reference things at the end of your paper? Um, so a lot of different help 
beautiful things as well. Go back here and this one from here. Um, you'll also have uh, Daytona State Answers Writing Center page, like I mentioned earlier, in the chat. The Writing Center social media is really cool. So they have a lot of different videos, and I'll show you. Um, they have some MLA and text citations videos, and they go more in depth. It's really cool. They have this clear glass board, and they write in there how to do each of the things. Um, so I would highly recommend you look into those if you're having trouble with how to set up your paper. Uh, from here, the ASC tutor search, I want to make sure that I show you. Um, it's going to bring up how to search. So you can see all of the tutors that are available on campus and what times. So for example, this learning specialist is available 8.30 to 5 p.m. on Friday. He helps with engineering, physics, and math. Uh, and so you can see all the different topics available. You can search by campus if you do have a campus close by and see exactly what's available. You can also search by subject and you can put in you know, algebra or calculus or things like that that you're needing more help with. Um, the Ask a Tutor widget, uh, essentially that's the one that I mentioned that you can ask your instructor if this feature is available in your Falcon Online course. Uh, and it's great because you can have questions answered and they're also in your class so they know exactly what you're asking questions about and they can help you with the right materials that you'll need. Um, ASC helpful handouts. So, let me pull this up. Um, so, this has like chapter one, introduction to accounting. You can download it there. The order of operations, solving quadratic equations, probability, <laughs> all different kinds of things that you can grab study guides on and more information. So, it's super helpful. Definitely download it. If there's a particular chapter you're having trouble with, Make sure that you look it up here and type in your question. Uh, from here, do this again. <laughs> um, so from here, the ASC homepage chat. So they also have a chat just on their homepage. So make sure you would click this link here, and it will take you directly to their homepage to ask questions. The Managing Your Success Info Guide is one I mentioned that is used in SLS 1122. It has some really helpful study tips and um, other information just about the college in general. Um, there's also some uh, material on managing your finances and um, DSC resources, so some other pages that you can click that might be helpful. Um, how to organize and plan, how to stay motivated, online readiness tips, um, etc. Um, so. And there's also within this uh, the ASC page. So like we mentioned that all the different chapters and things that you can download can also be found there. Falcon Online, this has the link to do the info guide and see more information about what to expect in your online course shell. And there's student online readiness information here as well. As well as the 24-7 Falcon Online support, you can call this number, it's select option two, and that will take you straight into troubleshooting and technical assistance for your online classes. Uh, you can also do the chat. It requires you to log in to your Falcon Online, so just make sure that you do that before, and then you can chat with an online support specialist within Falcon Online. Some helpful links that are included, as I mentioned, the help pages, how to download Microsoft Office, how to log in to My Daytona State, how to look at your academic calendar. This is also available on the home page, but again, we're just gathering all of these links that can be helpful for you. So you can see your upcoming dates and when you need to make sure you're doing well in your classes um, and when to seek out help. And then at the end, the helpful academic contacts, academic support center, writing center, campus libraries, your Falcon Aid student help desk, and your student advocate. I am also going to add in um, the bookstore information so that you can go in because a lot of students don't know that you can actually put in your student ID 
and it will generate a book list for you. Uh, and you can use that information to either seek out from the bookstore or look for price matching and then go back to the bookstore to get your books. Um, so I'm going to add in that information under helpful academic contacts because I've had several students talk to me today um, asking for that information which wasn't included. So I'll make sure that I add that in as well. Uh, other than that, that's really the new resource guide. I hope that you download it. I hope that it's helpful. Please let me know if there's anything else that I can add or assist with um, in the upcoming weeks. And I will ask, do you have any questions about anything? Yes. So the, you were talking about, he asked about the writing center and that they have virtual appointments, but you said as well, there's another? Yeah, the academic support center. Uh, the academic support center. Also virtual They've also given you some virtual help um, yes. through, were they reviewing your paper or? Yeah, so. So you've received some additional help through them, like virtually. I know what they've said is that if they can't answer your question quickly, they sometimes will pull you in on a virtual appointment through the Academic Support Center yes, and be able to help. Yes, we can shift that with the students. We can do that with students. We already do that with the students. Yes. The students, like, is far away from... from if students are far away, the Academic Support Center. That's great. That's, I love it. So the Academic Support Center has been helping a lot just with chatting and then bringing students in to be able to do virtual help. So I would make sure you also, if you're having trouble and it's not just a paper, if you have questions, uh, definitely utilize that to be able to talk to the Academic Support Center. So awesome. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm all set. Uh, I really appreciate you attending, and please email me if you have any questions after. Uh, thank you so much for your time. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Awesome.